How do I how do I make more of you? Uh, right, watch over criminals. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Sim Casino here in the Grand Casino. Dave, where the dance floor is hopping. These two people are having the time of their life in our new very tiny but very cool and eclectic nightclub here. If you have left me suggestions for the name of this nightclub, first of all, thank you very much. I will be looking over those. Secondly, I haven't seen them yet, so I am recording these somewhat in advance to get ready for the holiday season. So I haven't seen your comments on the last one by the time I'm recording this one. But we will look over the suggested names for the nightclub here and see what's going to be appropriate for this sort of green flamingo tiny dance club with a bathroom with slot machines in it next to it. We'll get to that at some point. How are we doing in the rest of the casino? You know, the part with the actual gambling in it. The slot machines are doing very, very well. In fact, I think we need more slot machines like really quickly because these are all jammed up. All the slot machines are currently taken. Ooh, that's a bit of a problem. How is Cactus Dave's Wild West Outdoor Cactusy Desert Western Bar doing? Not as good. Not not really not really pulling in the punters here as they say there's one person having a drink at the bar, but your thirst meter is down, so that that's good. You have had a drink here at Cactus Dave's Outdoor Wild West Sandy Deserty thingamajiggy here. Now, my money is not exactly top-notch at the moment, mostly because I've just built a casino. So, you know, I'm going to be down a little bit on money there. I could also see a new cashier area at some point. We've only got the one. I'll have a think about that. But let me see if I can maybe get some more slot machines right here. That'd be a good spot for them. Show me Ring of Fortune. Is that going to bork everything else? It is, unfortunately. It's too close to the roulette table. How about, say, over here? Could we do something like there? I could get some in there. Is that really where I want them, though? I could do, like, maybe one, a few over here. Eh, I don't know. It's not exactly my aesthetic ideal but I don't really have space to do anything else anywhere else unless I start making this place bigger, which is, of course, the ultimate goal. What have I got? I've got this little corridor area over here. Now, I was kind of thinking in the back of my head that could lead to the buffet. In fact, would it be the worst idea to start the concept of a buffet right now? Show me that. Show me things. Uh, what basic buffet stuff can I do? Absolutely nothing at all. I'm going to have to research that. Yeah, I think anything else I go forward with, I'm going to have to put some research in. And I really, really wanted signs and cool things like that. But let's focus on other things. How about attractions? The gym, that might be an idea. That'll generate a little bit of money. There's the buffet right there. 15K to research the buffet. I blew all my money on dance floor, convention hall, grand hotel. I've never done anything with the convention hall before. That's brand new to me. That's going to be fun to mess around with. How about in operations? Celebrity guests. That could be kind of cool. But no, no, let's focus on something important like, you know, gambling, maybe. Uh, table rule editing. That's cool. Progressive linked jackpots. What does that mean? Link together with multiple slot machines with the multi-select. When players miss out on the jackpot, watch the big prize rise. Assign a new display, a sign to display the jackpot. Oh, massive prizes. Oh, that sounds amazing. It's 18,000 to research that. I've never done that before. That was not in Sim Casino the last time I played it. That's so cool. You got a little running total of the jackpot there. Oh, we got to get that. All right, uh, let's focus here, shall we, Dave? All right, let's start to work on the buffet. There we go. Yes, research the buffet. That's solid. People are going to want to eat something. All they have right now is the little vending machines over here in the corner. That's a solid move. Let's get food under control here. I'd love to put a row of slot machines outside, but unfortunately, you can't put slot machines outside. I had a chit-chat with the developer while he was in one of our streams of some casino about that, and apparently it just wrecks the entire game if you try and put slot machines outside. Something to do with something. I don't know. 
but it was very, very informative, and I didn't understand any of it. But the long and the short of it is you can't put slot machines outside because everything burns to the ground. So where else am I going to put slot machines? Okay, do I actually, here's a thought, do I really need all of this blackjack right now? There's like nobody here. So I could maybe take out one of the blackjack tables and then put in slot machines instead, which are clearly, clearly doing better than the table games are. There's one guy playing blackjack and there's three tables and I'm paying all these people too. What if we started doing some light demolition here, like dismantling that? And then you, uh, you're out, right? You don't work here no more, right? That That's how that works? You go away now? Okay, bye. Uh, apparently a guest with urgent frustration wants to leave. Is that you? What What's your problem? You don't have any urgent frustration. In fact, you're totally chill. Who's the problem here? Yeah, hunger right there. Okay, uh, let's focus here. So, wait, are you my employee? You're my drink server, right? You're out on patrol. Yep, you are going around the casino here. Would you like drinks, sir? There's nobody here. Would you like drinks, sir? There's nobody here. Uh, there's somebody over here. Go see if they want a drink. How about slot XRE with better chairs? So let's get that to go like that. And let's get this to live right over in the corner like this and that and that. There's five more slot machines right there. I can open up this wall later or move these around or something like that. I'll wait till they get those all nice and loaded up. But while we're waiting on that, what could we do with, say, yeah, a dollar? Let's try to go with two dollars on these guys. That seems a little bit more sensible. Let's copy that. Let's see if I can remember how to do this right. There we go. Drag that and then... Paste the thing. So paste game settings there. That should have... That hold for all of you? Yep, you're all $2 now. Talk to me about... Uh, talk to me about randomizing... No, no, no. That that was not the thing you wanted to do. Talk about randomizing the prizes. Huh. I'm going to do that. Randomize the prizes on that. I want to see what happens. So what's your prize? Your prize is $5.75? For a $2 slot? Yours is $5.25. $8,000? Are you insane? We're not giving people $8,000 for a $2 slot. How about $75? Oh, they don't like that at all. No, no, they do like it. It's fine. You know what? We're actually going to go back to normal here. So this is a $20 prize. Let's copy that and let's paste. No, no, no. Let's paste that through all of this so paste that did you now fix yourself yeah you're a twenty dollars eight thousand dollars not giving people eight thousand dollars for anything around here if i can help it also i only have fourteen thousand dollars left this is not good it's it's like 10 o'clock on a wednesday that's got to be prime time casino time right are you going for a bit of a dance you can have a dance yeah, you're like right in front of the speaker man that is so going to cause hearing loss hey not on me no liability here how are the bathroom slots doing? Ooh, nobody in the bathroom playing the slot machines, huh? Ooh, that's a little rough. Has anyone played recently? Yeah, somebody put 80 bucks in this one, 152 bucks in this one. Obviously, the ones by the door getting the biggest action. That's no surprise. But I'd love to see some people, you know, walk 20 feet up here and use some of these. Now, these are all still $1 slots, right? Yeah, I might try and bump those up a little bit. Tried that at the beginning, no go. But, you know, hey, it's day three now. This is a very, very popular casino, if abnormally tiny and rather green and hot pink. So maybe we could get these up to $2. Let's see how that flies. Let's take this to $2 and let's copy that. Okay, now I'd like to get all of these the same. Paste those game settings, please. Now that should do the trick, right? Yeah, you're all $2 now. And on that, actually, now that those are $2, I'll make the prize a little bit better. I'll say like $35 for the jackpot. $35 for the jackpot. Now copy that and then do that again. Paste all of those settings right there. Okay, good. Now, is that taken? Yep, $35 payout for that. That's not bad. It's not terrible. Ah, uh, you know what, though? That that blackjack table that I deleted, that was my only overnight blackjack table. 
So I've got overnight roulette. I've got overnight poker down here. I got rid of my overnight blackjack table. I should probably bring something in for that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let me see if I can get uh, some scheduling here. So let's put this on. There we go. Midnight to 8 a.m. We are on duty. Thank you very much. And there we go. She just walks right back in. I hope that was the person that we fired. It's not that you were a bad employee. It's just that I needed that space for slot machines. So I hope you uh, you came right back in. We kept your application on file and you just we just rehired you for that. You're just sort of wandering around doing nothing. You got some money out of the ATM, and now you – did you do – okay, you're going to have a little game of poker here. Your thirst is high. You'd love to take a nap. What's your confidence? 0. 0.66. I genuinely don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, well into the next day, and we did finish researching the buffet thing. I could theoretically get that going. I just don't think I have the money to do it. Show me some things here. How much do these things cost? tables around 600 i could get some cheaper ones the buffets themselves stoves fridges that kind of thing okay and then the actual structure itself because i was kind of thinking over here an undetected stock thief stole 3000 i can't i can't lose that no no for, okay to heck with buffets go away buffets i don't want to talk to you no more I want to talk about security, like a lot of it. What do we need to do to be more secure around here? Throw this in pause mode. I need to click things. $3,652 gone. Absolutely out the door, gone. And then cheating. All right, maximum number of guards who should leave their post to chase down a single criminal should be way more than one. How about two? I don't actually think I have two guards. Can I hire more guards, please? I'd like to hire more guards. How do I How do I make more of you? Uh, right, watch over criminals. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? How about edit staff schedule? Can I get more of you, please? Uh, yeah, there we go. Yes, I would like to have, say, three guards. Okay, three guards around here. Of course, that's three guards I've got to pay for now. Wow, that was a lot of money. I have $8,000, and I own a casino. This can't be right. Well, I'm definitely not getting my buffet immediately. That's for sure. But just for planning purposes, if I wanted something like this, that's about seven k to put up the structure and then everything else that I need for that, you know, the stoves and the kitchen area and all that, and then some staff. All right, you guards better be doing your job I know I can't afford it, but how much is it to research, like, more security around here? Advanced security. Okay, collection of objects, much stronger, vault door cameras, that's what I'm looking for. 13 and a half K to do it. Okay, episode four, and I'm already thinking about a bank loan. This is going to go down in flames. Not even sure I'm going to get one. My credit rating is terrible. 578, wow, that is really bad. That's really, really bad. Well, I have no credit history at all. What could I theoretically get? 50K? Uh, how, how much is that? 250K. Okay. Um, that's a lot of money. Boy, that's a lot of money. How much would I... 28 days to... Well, show me this. 28 days to pay it back at 5 to 10% interest. And I'd have 250K. Okay. Can I theoretically pay back $250,000 in 28 days? My short answer is no, absolutely not. My longer answer is I'm going to keep thinking about it. In the meantime, let's try and keep the people that we do have a little bit happier so I can comp some people. Free service, free snack and drink if you lose at least $10. Well, that's a little low. How about if you lose, say, $50? We will give you a free drink. Okay, that's about the best I'm going to do for you right now because I don't have hotels or buffets or anything else that you'd like to do. So a free drink, it'll give my drinks patrol server something to do at least. You lose 50 bucks in the Grand Casino, Dave. You can have a somewhat watered down martini because Cactus Dave's outdoor Cactus Western themed bar and not grill because we don't have buffet yet 
uh, it doesn't really have very good drinks. Now, here's a thought with the whole I just got ripped off thing. I've got my drink server out on patrol. How about a patrol for the security guards? How about they actually leave the room and go out and look for people who might be stealing things? I think that would be an outstanding idea. Kind of have to remember how to do that. So area patrols, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, area patrols, please. Security guard, perfect. That's exactly what I want. So let's start you going, obviously, from your room. You can go around here, uh, like, come here, like that, and then over... Actually, that's a pretty good patrol right there. Yeah, do... No, 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 back... Oh, I've done it wrong. All right, let's try that one more time. Here, no, here to here, here, over to here, and then... Yeah, you can pop your nose in the dance club. I, I don't think anything's going to happen there, but, you know, go nuts with that. And then back to, why don't you go up here and then come down there. Yeah, I think, I think I like that. That, that kind of works. We're going to keep that. Okay, here he comes. He's going out to do his little patrol here. Yep, got a little awkward start there, but now he's off and running, looking at things. There we go, looking at things, checking people out. Making sure people aren't cheating, ripping us off. Probably should have done this from day one. Probably wouldn't have lost all that money. But, you know, here we are. It's all good now. We're back on track. A whole whopping $9,000 in the grid. I'm glad you're having a good time with the dance floor, man. I'm, I spent a lot of money on this. So I'm glad you're having a really, really good time. You don't eat because you have a dance floor now. We could have done buffet. No, 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 Dave said. Do a dance floor. Dance floor will be fun. Now I've got no money. I wonder if I should set up a second one. Ah, maybe wait until I've got the area more expanded and then I can set up a second patrol to kind of go over the new areas as well. I just want to keep these guys running. I got two people sitting in the vault here with nothing to do. A new patrol is not a bad idea, but again, let's open up a little bit more stuff. And then we'll figure that out. How much do you pay for this slot machine down here? What are what are we at with this? $2? No. No, I think $5 for you now. $5 for you. And then also come here. $5 for you as well. How are the toilet slots doing? Yep, somebody in here at the toilet slots. That's very, very good. You are what? You're a $5 slot machine. Uh, you're Okay, you guys are actually using the bathroom. Sorry, sorry. You might take a little spin on the slots when you're done. Wash your hands first, though. Kind of thinking about ditching another roulette table, too. We're just not getting as much action on the table games as I might ideally like. Maybe need a little bit more player confidence before they're going to spend some money there. I think just for the purposes of saving a little money, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ditch this one. Uh, dismantle that. Sorry. Again, we will keep your info on file, and when we have a new roulette table... We will come back to that. Also, I think I just once again deleted my overnight roulette. So let's go to you. And yeah, I did. Okay, so you are actually open. You can come right back in, lady. You can come right... I've got a spot open for you right now. You can come right back in and do the overnight shift on roulette if you'd like. And middle of the next day, there's not much else for me to be doing with 10K. So I'm just decorating because, of course, uh, let's copy that. And then let's see, paste that to that so they fit in nicely now. Okay, there we go. That makes more sense because that's a really relaxing place to take a little break is right next to a slot machine. So that thing is just ping, ping, pinging in your ear all the time without, without end, ceaselessly pinging in your ear while you're trying to take, I don't know, I guess a little break from the ping, ping, pinging in your ear. I'm thinking bank loan to make, to make the buffet work. This is, this is my, I have a goal. There's a point to this. I'm, I'm acting like I'm actually approaching a bank manager to say, I have a business plan, sir. I assure you, I am not just randomly throwing up slot machines and hoping for the best and focusing my attention on a dance club that makes no money. No, 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 sir. I assure you, I have a business plan. Please give me a loan. If I did say, this is a terrible idea. If I, this is a terrible idea. If I did like a $50,000 loan, this is a terrible idea. I could put up my buffet. I've researched it. I may as well. So apply for that. Accept the loan. Daily payment of $1,812. Okay. It's, um, 
It's good interest rate. All right. It's a great interest rate. We're not actually paying that much more than the 50K. That's fantastic. Can I pay $1,812 every day? Well, we're going to find out. Well, best be getting a buffet going on then. Uh, let's go like this. Maybe sort of long and thin like that. That'll be, that's actually not that much money. And it'll give me a good bit of room too. And then obviously this needs to come out like that. I'm going to need to ditch those slot machines for right now, but I'll, I'll learn to cope with that information. In fact, for just the immediate time being, I'm going to throw these over in the corner here, and then I'll come back to them later and we'll put them somewhere far more sensible, like in another toilet. Uh, put that over there and that over there. Okay, let's start some dismantling first. So let's do that out of there and that out of there. Now... Throw it into pause mode for like two seconds here. And by two seconds, I mean however long it takes me to figure out how to do kitchens and buffets. So go to kitchen. What does the kitchen zone need to be? Okay, fully enclosed with a door, four by four, and then all the things that it needs. And a staff door. Okay, four by four for the kitchen. So we'll obviously make it a little bit more than that. Let's go with something along like... Yeah, no, no, no. Along these lines like this. What is that area going to be, though? I'll figure it out when I get there. Okay, a staff door right there. Now, kitchen. Let's get this part sorted out first. So I need this to be a kitchen zone. Thank you. And then obviously you don't have any of the things at all that you need. So go back to, oh, did I make that a kitchen zone? I don't, yeah, I did. It is a kitchen zone. Okay, great. I'll put my, put my zones back on so I can see what I'm doing here. Prep, hot plate, fridge, sink, cooler. Gotcha. So all of these then. I'll probably have room for more than one of these, but for now, I'm just going to put these down, just one of each, and then I'll figure it out later. So the sink could be, come on, come on, spin, spin, spin around. Spinner, okay, you want to go to a wall. I know you want to go to a wall. We all want to go to a wall. We love walls. How about the fridge? Could that squeeze right in here? Sure can. Absolutely. Uh, remind me what else you're missing. The cooker and the hot plate. All right. Uh, hot plate right No, hot plate. Thank you for auto-saving. Hot plate can go right here. And then what else did you want? The cooker could go right here. Hopefully, that does not interfere with the sink. I don't feel that it will. I think we're pretty good. And then how about some storage? Because, you know, we probably want to have like food and things in here. So put some storage right next door over here. I can already see that this is too small. But let's let's just do what we're going to do here. And obviously what we're going to do is decorate. Now, I'm definitely feeling an exposed brick in the kitchen. I like that. That's a good exposed brick. Looks very kitcheny. And the floor... Should probably be something fairly neutral. This is technically a carpet. <sighs> I really shouldn't do carpet in the kitchen. Oh, that's kitcheny. Oh, wait, that's the kitcheniest kitcheny thing. Hang on, make that a different color because that's fun. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, that's absolutely horrible. We're doing that. We're definitely doing that. Okay, kitchen under control. Now I need the buffet to get under control here. So go back to this and go to... Buffet zone, it's going to be all of this and all of this. Not the corridor, not for right now anyway. What do you need? A cash register uh, assigned to a kitchen. Yeah, we'll work on that. And the buffet and then all the things, all the things for the buffet. Gotcha. All right, let's start with like a corner booth up in here. And then could I, could I get that to go like that? That won't work like that, will it? No, not quite. Um, no, I don't like that. So let's just go back to regular dining table. So there, no, no, no. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, don't worry. We'll make it work game. We'll make it work one there and one there. And then what else do I want to do here? If we're going all square tables, let's go all square tables. So that, that I don't want to put round tables in here. That doesn't make any sense anymore. That over there, that over there. And then I'd like to get another corner one over... Oh, no, maybe I should have done those ones. Oh, it's so hard to be me. Put that over there. 
I don't like this. This is not... That's not really coming together the way I want it to. Take this guy over here and then put him like that. How does that look? Is that terrible? That's terrible, Dave. Why would you do that? Put this over here. No, that's worse. You're making it worse. Okay, I'm scrapping the corner ones because they're just, they're not working out for me. It's just I'm having a bit of a meltdown with the table issue right now. To get, get rid of it. Just make it all go away. It's all horrible. Everything is terrible. Um, how did I do this one down here? Like that. Okay, put that over there. So that, that is better. It's not perfect, but it is, it is better. I might just leave it at that and then fill in more tables as I go along. Now the cash register, that needs to be, oh, yeah. Dave, you haven't done any of the food yet, man. You haven't done any of the food yet. You've, you've gone rather weird on tables. I don't have an accurate term to describe my head right now, but you've gone a little weird on the tables. You put nowhere for their, you know, the, the food to go. Like, you know, the food. Let's, how about we get the food under control here? So let's start to line this up down here. There's the dessert buffet. That's the last one. Now what? Seafood and steak. Tell me I can get all three of these in here. I can, but nobody will be able to get there. So they've got to get behind there to get the food in the place, like where the buffet is. That's fine. That I can cope with without melting down. Let's just get a little bit more wall to go like that. I know it can't be reached from the bus stop. I'm going to fix that sort of right now-ish. There we go. And then now they can get into the buffet area. You've got to get moved back to the corner. Actually, if I did another one, I could put two of those tables like that. Hmm. I did a little tiny bit more wall. I could get two tables in that corner. Kind of like that idea. Um, give me a little bit. Wow, what the heck? I took the bank loan. May as well. Go ahead and get that there. And then I'll deal with your bus stop issue right now. Move you over here and then can I get a actually can I get another one of these go to here and then go to this spin that around so it all makes sense okay now things are starting to come together here and don't forget to make that a buffet zone there we go otherwise bad things are going to happen so let's move you over here and then I need a duplicate of you to go like that Okay, let me see where I'm at here. I have no drinks dispenser yet. I'll work on that. That needs to, does that, go, that goes to a wall, right? That's a wall unit. Yeah, that's a wall unit. Okay, spin yourself around here, Sparky. And then let's see if we can get this to go here. Isn't there a beer dispenser? Yeah, beer dispenser. After all this nonsense, the place deserves it. And the cash register. Okay, I think we are, well, we will almost be open for business. The kitchen is not assigned yet. Assigned to that. Okay, things are happening. The cook is, is, on, is on duty now, cooking up some things. You got a cutting board there. You have a lot of work ahead of you, ma'am. You are one chef for the entire Grand Casino, Dave. Also, I haven't decorated the floors yet. Okay, turn my zones off. What says... Kitchen, buffet, having fun, eating lots of food that you'd never normally eat because you're like, no, 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 that's terrible for me. But then they present it to you all in a huge buffet and you're like, oh my God, put all of it on my plate right now, especially omelets. Let's do, I don't know about you, I'm a nut for the omelet bar at any buffet. I am all about the omelet bar. And let's do... This, now I like that like that. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to leave that exactly as is. Um, all about omelets. Like all the omelets live inside of me whenever I'm at a buffet. Ooh, that is beautiful tile. I don't know if it's right for the buffet. I'm going to find a home for that tile though. No doubt. But I don't think it's right for this. I think this is a little more, a little more neutral. Like maybe this one. Mmm, jeez, wow, that is kind of bathroomy, isn't it? That doesn't, no, that, I think we can do better than that. How about some wood? How about a nice wood floor in here? Yeah, that, yeah, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Put the wood floor like that. 
and then bring that all over here and then over to here. Uh, don't don't go over the carpet though. You just paid for that. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, ah, the carpet kind of blends in, doesn't it? You don't really. I want to accentuate that carpet, not bury it. I'm going to have to do all of this over again. Obviously, this is no good. Okay, I think I found something I can live with. So I'm going to pay for flooring twice, as we do. And uh, get all of this like that, and then in like that. It needs more of the carpet, though. Ooh, I missed a bit. Wait, which one was I just doing? This one. Uh, I missed a bit there. Hang on, let me get that in like that. I think it needs more of the carpet. Yeah. Show me, uh, just eyedropper that for me, just so I don't even have to go and look for it. How about we did carpet like that? Maybe like that? How about like that? Does that make sense? I think it does, actually. Well, now I definitely do want carpet over here. Now, put the carpet over there like I told you to. Maybe not all of it. Maybe just under the tables. I think I like this. I'm pretty sure that I like this. And then also, let's just continue the walls uh, as is. And don't do the whole thing, because otherwise you pay to do the whole wall all over again. Don't you, Dave? And just finish it off with the carpet going over like that. Okay, get out of all of that. Uh, what's your problem? We probably don't, we probably haven't moved things over here yet. I'm sure your problem will be rectified by me ignoring it. Okay, people are in. They're eating. They're having food, technically. How can we get an idea of how much we're charging for this nonsense? How much do we do for this? Purchase cost 600. Oh no, that's the, that's the desk itself. That's the actual desk itself. That's not how that works. Wow, we've already made 500 bucks on this. We've already made 500 bucks on this. That ain't bad. Are we doing 24-7? Oh, we are now. Let me assure you of that. Now we got some money left over. Let's put up some lighting because people love to have lights around here. What else could potentially live in this area? I'm going to do ceiling lights above these guys because I kind of want to keep this wall open for something I haven't quite thought of yet. I don't know what that will be because, you know, I haven't quite thought of that yet. But it'll be really, really exciting and and really profit generating. I don't know what I'm going to put there. Uh, but we'll kind of keep thinking about that. I'm half thinking about eventually the theater going over here. I love the theater in Sim Casino. It's one of my favorite things. The fact that you can book every act is just phenomenal. Oh, you're having a little sit down with your friend here. You're eating imaginary food. Was was the buffet empty? We just opened. We just, are you you're eating imaginary food. You're pretending to eat food. That's that's adorable. These people got real food. See, they have plates. Yeah, you're just pretending, aren't you? Oh, got to get the burger sign up here. In fact, let's put that in the corridor. So as you're coming down, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, here's the buffet over there. I can tell by the burger sign. So bur actually, let's just do burger, all burgers, all, because I don't have a, a, a neon thing for omelets. So we're going all burgers there. And I know I don't technically have pizza. I can't even do the pizza sign. Come on. Let me have the pizza sign. Um, all right. I'll make something else happen. Hang on. Uh, do this there. And then where are my letters? Just my individual letters. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And that, and that, and that. No, no, no. There we go. Right there. Food. That way. Food. Right over here. Probably burgers. Maybe omelets. Not sure. No pizza yet. Working on it. You know what? If I get the pizza buffet going, I'm definitely going to have to extend that kitchen. Because we're going to need like the pizza oven and stuff like that. That's no problem. I've got, got space here. I can work with this. Still got 36K in the tank right now. How? Well, now what do I want to research? Now I kind of do want to go immediately for the pizza buffet. 21,000. Wow. Maybe not on that. Maybe not. Ooh, that is a lot of money. What could we do maybe in gambling? I really would like that progressive link jackpots. That sounds so cool. But it's really expensive to research that. I should probably just chill for the moment. Reduce card payment fees. Now that would cut how much I'm paying the ATMs in fees in half. Except it doesn't if you actually read it correctly, Dave. No, it's going to reduce how much the customers are charged. 
customers are charged, but that will reduce their frustration, which is good. Nothing else in here. Actually, solar power would not be the bad idea. That would not be the worst idea in the world. Reduces my electricity costs. I mean, electricity is not like sky high at the moment, but this place is only getting bigger. I already got to put in some more tables here, don't I? We are basically full. Yeah, I need more tables. I need to plan this out. The buffet could theoretically be what pulls me back from the brink. Because it sure as heck ain't the blackjack right now. There's nobody playing blackjack. I guess they probably just don't have the confidence. We're still... I mean, it is day five. This casino has been open for five days. I'm not super surprised that there aren't a ton of people here and they don't have a lot of confidence in my casino. But they've got food. They've got an arrow that points them to food and they are wicked into this. They are wicked into the buffet. I think my next thing is I've just got to expand that. I had to get way more tables in there. So that is probably an excellent place to call it on Sim Casino for today. Hastily throwing together a buffet just so we can make any money at all around here. And we're heavily in debt now. We're 50k in debt. We're paying $1,800 a day. That, uh, that buffet, rather, excuse me, needs to be making like $1,800 a day, and it probably will. The place is packed. I've already got to expand this. i got to get some more tables in here. Like immediately, I have complete strangers who have to eat at the same table because there's nowhere else to sit. So that's probably the first next thing we do is get more seating in the buffet and then figure the rest out. Try and just keep plodding along with the gambling until our gambler's confidence is up higher. And they'll be more inclined to, you know, do the table games and spend more money and that kind of thing. Dance club's still going very, very well, though. Dance club going very well. Nobody's actually dancing in here. How are my toilet slots doing? Ah, not a lot of action on the toilet slots. Well, it is 7 o'clock. It's not exactly prime time for toilet slots. Guys, we'll pick up some more of Sim Casino again next time. Do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you think of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.